because Ack will be host Reading at SJP this weekend. Uh, and just to start, the game is going to be a, a celebration of Eamon Dolan. What were your memories of him playing under him at Reading? Um, yeah, he was a very, very intense character. Um, he was a man who always pushed you to, to be the best you could be. Um, I remember there being times when there may have been a couple of players at the club that didn't really believe or see the ability that they actually had. Um, and he did. And he pushed them to the absolute limits to make sure that, that they actually managed to show the potential that they had. And in turn, that, in, that, in, that installs belief in, in, into the player themselves. And that probably epitomizes the man that he is um yeah he just wanted the he just wanted his players to be the be the best versions of themselves um and above all be be really good people um and in turn you you combine that with with talent um yeah you end up developing really special players i spoke to Pierce sweeney about him last week and he spoke about some advice that he remembered that Eamon gave him. Is, is there anything Eamon said to you that you still remember? I actually do. He actually gave me, he called me into the office once and um, I think I still have the note. And um, I think it was a similar situation about um, realising the potential you have. And he always used to talk about Gilfie Sigerson and he wrote on a piece of paper um, what was it? Something about Gilfie knew then what I knew that what I knew now, or something like that. And he made me take the paper home and put it away and look at it once every few nights or once every few days or something like that. Um, but yeah, um, over time I was thinking, why why has he done that? Um, and basically, it was just a case of. What he was trying to say to me is the level of professionalism that Gilfie Sigerson would have had at a young age. Um, a lot of a lot of players didn't actually catch on to until later on in their careers. And you're saying the earlier I can get into that mindset, the better my career will be. Um, at the time, I had no clue what he was talking about. Um, and yeah, even hearing this, some people be like, oh, like, how does that even make sense? But obviously being involved in the club and hearing how Eamon spoke um, and the way he worked, the stories he used to tell, you put two and two together when, when you're around him and you're in that environment. And, and yeah, I think, I think that was right in a sense. And so. So yeah, I think that's that's one of the one of the key mess messages that that I probably won't forget. Do you think you would have achieved what you've achieved without without Aim? Um, probably not. To be honest with you, probably not. Um, when I was younger, um, probably like most most kids, you enjoy playing football, but the hard work not so much. Um, and I think that was me at a time, and that's probably why he called me in. Um, to, to tell me that. Um, obviously, the, the earlier that clicks in your head and you realise that you actually need to work hard for your talent to show through, um, the better it is for you because you figure, that, figure, figure out that too late. And yeah, it, it might be too, too late completely. Um, so yeah, I feel like I feel like yeah, that was a that was a vital piece of advice that that he gave me. Um, maybe I could have had it a little bit earlier. Maybe <laughs> if I maybe if I if I if I met Eamon a bit younger. Um, yeah, but yeah, that was that was Eamon in a nutshell. Looking at the game on Saturday, you know our first two home league games of the season against two of the sides that came down from the championship. It's an excellent test for us to start the season. I think we, we came through Blackpool quite well and, and see how we get on against Reading now. Yeah, I feel like 
it's it's good for us to gauge <clears throat> gauge where we're at. Um, of course, we need to we need to show up and 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 be on song. Um, we showed some 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 positive stuff against Blackpool, but in turn, if you don't turn up against another team that's come down from the championship, it could it can kind of completely dismantle that. So it's definitely about making sure that we're all at the top of our game. Um, we're all ready to go out and compete. And I feel like if we do that as a collective, then I feel like we can we can get quite an impressive result and, um, and make a statement in this league because I feel like we have a good team and I feel like we could we could we could achieve um, really good things as long as we keep that level of consistency and also um, stay humble in a sense, um, not get too ahead of ourselves because we've had a, a half decent start. We're only a few games in really, and it's a really really long season. The weather still needs to turn. The pitches still need to cut up. We've got we've got quite a lot of a lot of situations to come through. So. Yeah. Only one goal conceded in the league so far as a defensive player. You must be pretty chuffed with how we've performed um, in defensive positions this season so far. Yeah, quite a few clean sheets. Um, I feel like that breeds confidence in the whole team, really. Playing in a team where you're conceding goals left, right and centre, I feel like it puts a lot of pressure on your forward players to, to score a lot of goals. Um, and I feel like it has a mentality shift. Because you go out um, on edge instead of on the front foot, um, worrying about conceding goals rather than winning games. Um, so yeah, I feel like that's a that's a really strong base, a really good foundation to to start from, and hopefully long may it continue. And um, we maintain being a team that's difficult to beat throughout the season, and I feel like. If that's the case, we've got we've got every single chance of of picking up some good results.